there is this calisthenics programming mistake that I see so frequently made that you just have to make sure that you don't make otherwise you will be burnt out so quick hit a plateau and most probably finish with an injury a lot of people can't really get back from those uh, that particular uh, programming mistake when they periodize in their training right so most people are already familiar with changing repetition ranges as a means of you know structuring their training doing high repetitions to lower repetitions and so on we're voicing over some nice clips uh, clips from the past training week of mine week nine of my current training program which simply started with higher uh, volume sets of eight sets sets of ten uh, with my main skills uh, which are currently Maltese cross and planche I practice them in a one lift a day type of a training split so once a week Maltese once a week cross once a week planche and then they nearly goes in intensity so this is the singles week it is not picking week it is not testing week it is simply training maxes training maxes is what whatever I can recreate that day I don't aim to miss any repetition I only go for repetitions that I feel confident of my ability to complete so I'm taking what is mine okay I don't fail and so I ended up with uh, nice sets uh, of yeah, some singles and doubles that mistake that we talked about that programming huge programming calisthenics mistake when people have that high intensity when they go low repetitions in their main movements so either they do weighted calisthenics so they do heavy weighted chin-ups and heavy weighted dips or they are more you know the gymnastic skill type of route they are doing their planche front lever hinge stand push up and one arm chin up those awesome calisthenic skill they do every other exercise extremely heavy low repetition singles they test everything they make everything miserable and horrible so usually having um, heavy singles in your routine is something that I would highly recommend for any strength athlete it, it boosts neurological efficiency it's one of the fastest way to get strong and especially for relative strength athletes so athletes that uh, uh, really care about being strong pound per pound so gymnastics uh, uh, you know any weight class sport uh, it's extremely beneficial but you have to remember the purpose of every exercise within your program okay so say you program for the one arm chin up and the planche so two main skills and they are programmed very frequently it's not a coincidence that I decided to speak about them so for the one arm chin up it is crucial to have you know a base of pulling strength horizontal pulling strength uh, via rowing and bilateral pulling strength uh, via pull-ups or chin-ups right it will help them and for the plunge it's extremely recommended to have a lot of shoulder strength and keep pushing that shoulder strength up as you want to pursue higher plunge strength and uh, so either using barbell overhead pressing or handstand push-up just everything overhead to get strong strengthening the shoulders the triceps and everything if those exercises are there to support the planche one arm chin up then don't make them compete with your main movement you don't have to test your one at maxes you don't have to go heavy you don't have to go uh, single double triples save the heavy the heavy uh, lifting save the joints for the heavy lifting save the joints save your nervous system for your main movements where you actually practice the refined technique under heavy loads uh, very specific to your goals right accessories are there to support their ability to help you is with their carryover to the main goals so you are not really theoretically you don't care about 
having rowing strength. You care about its potential to transfer, transfer over to the one arm chin up, okay? So by going one rep max on rowing or one rep max on uh, wide grip pull-ups to improve the one arm chin up makes no sense. You're simply competing with your ability to, to recover. Central nervous system will get wrecked from doing heavy, heavy singles across, let's say, 12 uh, total exercises within our training routine. And it will end up with an injury because your joints will not tolerate uh, doing 90% of one of maxes with so many movements. For going for barbell overhead press and handstand push-up and chin-ups and pull-ups and one arm chin-up and the planche and the front lever and the pelican curls and, and bicep curls. I, was, I remember that I was doing once bicep curls, barbell bicep curls. They are generally good for, you know, calisthenic skills, gymnastic skills, because you have to have big biceps. And uh, you can hypertrophy your biceps in order to uh, potentially in the long term and have that carry over to uh, more advanced skills, right? More muscle mass is like having more soldiers in the army. You just have to teach them how to Maltese later on. Um, but I was doing heavy singles, doubles. And, you know, I don't have to do singles, double in order to hypertrophy the biceps. I can do sets of 12. And that will be so much easier to recover from, so much easier for my nervous system and the joints. I was just risking the joints not being able to recover from so much heavy lifting. And, and you know, I give recommendations of pelican curls and ring flies for the iron cross, right? I previously mentioned them. It literally helped me unlock the iron cross almost immediately. Uh, and I see people program heavy cross and then do singles on but, uh, bicep, uh, bicep curls, then pelican curls, and then ring flies. It's so much stress on the elbow, so much overlap with muscle groups that are already activated within the cross that you are, you are meant to, with the accessories, to now give more blood flow, give more love through repetition, uh, lower intensities, and so on. You don't have to do singles and doubles. You can, however, when you program for your high intensity week or weeks, uh, in any shape that you have those high intensities, you can program relatively high intensity for the accessories, but I will not go any lower than six reps, okay? So maybe sets of uh, six to eight on your high intensity for the accessories. Okay. But most of the time, I will play with sets of 10 to 20 repetitions, okay? That will get you more hypertrophy whilst having less central nervous system fatigue, whilst less putting risk on your joints, and therefore help you, okay? Don't make the, uh, all of the exercises compete with one another. You have your main goals, and you have all of the other stuff. They should support the main goal. Okay, and if, you, if, you are, if the accessories are there for blood flow and hypertrophy, then you don't really have to max with them. Otherwise, it will be detrimental. Uh, it can cause an injury. So remember that and um, save your joints for the heavy lifting. Save the joints for your actual skills. See you next video.